In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this part. It's, it's part one of section 7.2, cross sections. I'm going to start out by creating a new part. And a new sketch on the XY plane. I'm going to create a rectangle starting at the origin. I'm going to make the width 3, tap the height 1, tap enter. I'm going to extrude 0.5 and OK. I'm going to create a sketch this face. I'm going to turn on construction and project this in this face, turn construction off. I'm going to draw a rectangle uh, approximately there. Go up to, to here. Let's add some dimensions. Uh, let's make uh, from here to here. Let's make it Here to here. Let's also make it point 0.1. These are all just approximations. I'm gonna because there are no dimensions on the uh, on the drawing. Add a dimension here. Make that uh, point 0.5. And a dimension here. Make that one. When extrude, uh, I'm going to remove material and uh, go in a point uh, two five, about, about half the distance, and hit OK. Create a sketch on this face and once again I'm going to project this face here. Zoom in. I'm going to turn off construction. I'm going to draw a centered rectangle about here in the center. Notice it's gripping the midpoint of the of the part. This is about 0.5, tab, about 0.2, tab, enter. I'm going to add uh, a fillet uh, right here. I'm going to make it uh, 0.1 and another fillet here. I'm going to extrude out. I'm going to remove material. It's going to go about halfway through the part. I'm going to subtract, uh, go down 0.25, and hit OK. I'm going to create a sketch on this surface. And it's going to be a uh, Try to grab the center point of this line. Uh, I can't seem to do that, so I'm going to go ahead and um, once again project geometry, project that surface there, turn off uh, construction, turn the circle on, and notice this as I turn the circle on, the construct, I could, since I projected the geometry, now I can grab the center of this, uh, of this feature. Uh, click, and let's make that. Uh, about point, point 
I'm going to do another feature here uh, in the center also. Uh, I'm going to make it 0.15. Check. I'm going to extrude uh, this feature. I'm going to go up a half an inch and hit OK. I'm going to come over here and uh, make this sketch visible. And once again, I'm going to extrude. Uh, but I'm going to uh, select this profile here. And I'm going to remove material. And um, instead of a distance, I'm just going to say all and hit OK. And uh, come back here, turn off this building. And there's my part. And uh, I'm going to create a drawing of this and a, um, a, a drawing that includes the, sec the section view of this part right down the center of this part. Uh, you're going to want to make sure, check your front view. Uh, you notice that uh, the way I created this, uh, this, is the, this is the bottom view. I'm going to go ahead and select this icon here. Uh, set current view as front. And save your part. Uh, create a new drawing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a drawing of this part. I'm going to create a new drawing, place a base view, uh, change the scale to 2 to 1, make it a little bit bigger, place about there, project a side view, a top view, an ISO view, right mouse click, create. Go, go to annotate, select my uh, centerline tool, place it right there, and hit escape twice, grab this green dot, bring it across about right there, and this one, grab it and place it right about there. And I'm going to create a new view, a section view. <clears throat> Go back to place views, uh, create a section view, and I'm going to specify this view here. And then I'm going to point to this, the end of this line and the end of this line here. And position my cursor in this direction and hit uh, continue. You notice it's going to place a, a, a section view. I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to place it down here. And so there's my section line. I'm cutting the part right through the center here. And I'm um, placing, showing it here, uh, cross-sectioned, showing that I've chopped away half of the part. Uh, I'm gonna. One thing I should have done is I'm gonna uh, hit escape twice and uh, point, double-click on this, and let's turn uh, hidden lines on. Hit OK, and there you can see the hidden lines in the part. I'm gonna come over here, double-click on this, and turn shaded on. That shaded. So uh, dimension your drawing, reposition your views of it. Uh, dimension your drawing and submit the drawing to uh, LMS to complete the assignment.